the box braids starting out. And then eventually we actually seen him go into the dreadlocks. So that's what we always noticed with those guys. He usually had the braids. And obviously, like I said, we seen him go into dreadlocks for a short period of time, which I thought he was going to have them for a little bit longer. But we do see him going somewhat in the direction of getting dreadlocks again. But we'll talk about that here in a second. First off, let's talk about Lil Sky's hair type, which is kind of hard to tell just because we never really see his hair in a natural state because right here his hair isn't at his natural state. But in the next couple of photos, we'll be able to tell. But I'll tell you his hair type right now. His hair type is most likely a 3B, possibly even a 3C. I wouldn't say he's anywhere in the fours, but he does have quite a tight curl pattern. And the reason I always point out the hair type is because the hair type is a clear indication of how someone actually started their dreadlocks. It helps you to see what method you can do on your hair. So if you don't know your hair type, make sure to click the link down below that says, what is my hair type? Now, with that being said, this next photo is kind of surprising. Looking at his hair, I think it's just more of an indication that his hair is most likely a 3B. It's not as tight as a 3C, but not even just looking at his hair. If we look down on the countertop, we see a dreadlock sponge, which is interesting. Of course, he could use a dreadlock sponge if he would like to, but it's not even about the dreadlock sponge. His hair right here is about six inches long. So with that being said, a dreadlock sponge is really not necessary or really isn't even helpful with getting dreadlocks. So I thought it was really interesting looking at these photos that he most likely used the dreadlock sponge in order to get his hair like this, which really does explain the matted look, why some of his hair looks developed and some of it doesn't. So it starts to make sense. And just with that, I would recommend everybody not to use a dreadlock sponge at this hair length. A uh, dreadlock sponge is typically used best when your hair is about three to maybe four inches. But once your hair becomes longer than the depth of the actual dreadlock sponge, then it really becomes obsolete because you can't really use it. Think about it. The whole purpose of a dreadlock sponge is for the hair to go in the sponge, in the holes, and then develop sections. But if that hair is too long, then it's just going to clump up and it's not going to want to go in the holes, so on and so forth. Now, don't get me wrong. His hair will definitely develop in some really cool looking free forms if he sticks with it, but I'm not sure if he will because we see some of his recent posts where he doesn't look as if he's getting the free forms, but his hair is obviously still a little matted, very frizzy, but it doesn't look as developed as it did in the last photo I showed you. And in this very last photo we see, this is from his Instagram story. He had his hair in two pigtails. Um, obviously you can only see one right here, but we don't see his hair developing into dreadlocks like we did see earlier on. Now, just with looking at all these photos together, I think he's just really exploring on what to do next with this hair. He kind of reminds me of myself when it comes to trying different things. Um, Cause I know a lot of people got onto me as well about trying so many different things with my hair, like from going from semi freeform dreadlocks to instant dreadlocks to completely freeform dreadlocks to combing all three of those out to actually cutting my hair to just rocking curly hair to going to waves to scalping the waves. And then, and then from going from that to starting twisting with Joe dreadlocks. So there's a lot going on and I feel like Lil Skies is the same way, kind of just experimenting to see what he likes and what he wants people to see him as. Because that's a big thing. Your hair is a representation of yourself. And I think when it comes to presenting yourself,